<sighs> oh boy. Oh my gosh, look how much snow is on the road. You know what that means. It's time to get plowing. We got tons of work today. And that is right, a blizzard has hit Elm Creek yet again. Oh, there's deer roaming around. Oh, he's running here. Let's see if we can get him. Looking like the roads are slick today, too. So we got to get going. I had to go on the cheap side. We only got a GMC and one plow. So we're working with what we got, and we have to plow all of the roads up and down north to south on the main road, and then we have to do some back roads as well and salt them. So, you know, we got a lot of work today. I think the GMC AT4 will get her done. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of horsepower in this. 6.6 liter Duramax, rated to push or tow basically anything. It's a base. So, let's hop in. We'll get to work. And have a great time watching some snow plowing. Lift up our blade there. We're good to head out. I'm going to say we start on the south end and work our way up. And then we got to go plow the dry cleaners in the grocery store. You know, the two most necessity item stores. And we're getting paid a ton of money. So we're going to do those two stores after we do the main road. There we go. Drop the blade down. And this is going to be a satisfying and enjoyable video to watch. So make sure you stick around and help me out by dropping a thumbs up here. I'm going to get the best angle so you can watch the blade get to work. Check that out. We're pushing along. I put salt on the way down. That way we weren't wasting a trip. So you can see it's kind of melting the snow on the road. Oh, we got a traffic here. Once you get over a 25 mile per hour cruise control, it can get a little bit out of hand. So we'll keep pushing here. And I'm pushing it to the left now. That should be a little bit better. Yep, we're looking good. Keeping straight. We can get about two, three foot snow banks until I got to mark it off. Oh, geez. See, when you hit bumps in the road, the concrete can get a little uneven during the wintertime. The salt just destroys it, so it's not the best. Drop it down. Go back for pass number two. And off we are. Snow plowing is one of my favorite things in this game, and you guys seem to really enjoy it. I mean, it's honestly so satisfying just to watch the blade push the snow. There we are. We're looking good. I think I'm just going to keep putzing along. The next pass will be at the dry cleaners and the grocery store. There we are. Okay, the blade's getting really choppy now. I guess slow it down. I think our pile's getting too big. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, slow it down just a little bit. Throw it to the side of the road. There we are. Back up. I can start a new pile going on. GMC has never plowed snow before, which is nice, and I do have a huge workshop, but, you know, it's all getting serviced, and some of it is being ran by my guys on the south side of town, so the only piece of equipment I have left is the GMC with a plow. No highway trucks. Those things are on the interstate. They're pushing, so all my guys are hard at work getting the roads cleared safely for all the citizens that drive a Prius. You know, I'm just kidding. I actually saw a Jeep get stuck yesterday that's right a huge jeep with 38 inch tires got stuck in a snowbank so you know even jeeps can get stuck it's all about the operator of the vehicle well i'll catch you when we get to the dry cleaning lot that's our first one of the day and here we are right next door which is nice the two biggest clients in town so we're gonna drop down the blade we're gonna get the front entrance cleared for them Always the most important part. It's inviting. It allows drivers to pull in the parking lot. There we are. Push it to the side. They have some flat gravel, so this one pushes really good. There's no bumps in the road. We're not really pouring salt down over here. All right, we're good. Lift up the blade. Back up. I can get this beast doing 35 miles an hour in reverse. We're going to switch the blade to the other side. There we are. Go for pass number two. Here we are. So, there is cars that are stuck in the parking lot right now. So, we're going to have to, uh, you know, dodge them, I guess. We're going to have to go around those cars. 
there's nothing you can really do about it in that situation. There we go, and we are good. So we're going to start on the dry cleaning side. They pay me more. We're going to get their lot done first, of course. They pay for the extra speedy plow work. You know, they want it done as soon as the snow drops. We're plowing their lot. Lots of people need to get their dry cleaning done. There we are. It's nice. It's the electronic blade. I don't have to walk out of my truck every five minutes to adjust it. So, you know, you just click a button in the truck. So I'll show you. It's the auxiliary right there. Drop it down. And then my angle, you can see there's two buttons right there. Right above the window controls, and that's how I control how it angles the blade. So you learn something new every day. Now we're going to push this one up against the fence. There we are. Nice. We're making a pretty good couple of passes. You know, we haven't missed a single spot. Let's get the front end of the lot cleaned up, and then we'll go to the back where all the parking is. Here we are. Keep going. I right, reached the wall. Lift up the blade. Looks good. Now we're going to push it against the fence here. We can leave a little bit on the side. We're going to clear it so we get to the back lot here. Here's our first pile. We're going to just push it up. Just like that. Oh yeah, we got a big pile going on there. Back up at like 30 miles an hour. Oh yeah. Drop it down one more time. We're going to go against the fence. Looks good. Okay, we'll push it up here. Now we got all this stuff in the middle, so we're going to push it straight across towards the grocery store. There you are. We got a little bit of a mess going on in the middle, but we'll get it cleaned up. Drop it down. actually a good way to learn how to snow plow you know i'm giving you guys some really good information about how to plow snow in real life if you're ever interested in it now you can say you're not playing video games yeah boy and we are done look at that i'd say that took us about three and a half minutes to complete which is about good timing, you know, that was just 75 bucks in earning. Now we're going to go in for the bigger lot. This is the grocery store. And they pay me a typical 45 bucks, so you know, it's almost double the size of that lot. So I'm going to go nice and cheap, just create simple, simple passes right through here. I don't want to hit anyone's car too, so. Just zoom through, we might have to bury in some cars. Looks like you're going to have to call the winch company. And then we'll go down the other side here and out the front door. Alright, take a left here. And there you are. That's what you do when they go cheap on you. There we are. Perfect. Okay, we are done. That was quick and easy. They don't want much because, you know, it can get really messy in a grocery store parking lot. It just gets all slushy, so I'm going to have my guys put a ton of salt down and it all melt. But we did pretty good. We got our lots done. And that's going to conclude our little day trip with the GMC AT4 plow truck. It was a beast. I mean, it didn't have any problems. Obviously, the main roads, it was a little different. Having cracks every now and then due to the erosion of the salt. Other than that, it was a fun day. So thanks guys for watching the satisfying snow plowing video. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a thumbs up because it helps me to make more snow plowing videos. 
shows me you enjoy them. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet. We're on the road to 100K. We're about 25,000 away. So if you guys could help me hit my goal, maybe I got some surprises coming up shortly. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.